Hello again and welcome to my creative African cooking channel Indie Do by Fafa. Thank you again for joining me for the second part of this three parts series how to make the best smoky jollof rice party now this is one of those dishes that you know it brings everybody to the yard so of course i'm adding my mixed herbs here which is going to be available on by indudu they're wild and they're so aromatic and just beautiful and you saw me add my two fresh bay leaves you can use your dry bay leaves not a problem you might wonder how i'm continuing this is because i've done a first part of this where i made the stew so i'd leave a link in the description box below so you can watch that and familiarize yourself with these flavors this stew is definitely smoked <laughs> even if i say so now i'm going to allow this to cook further for about 20 minutes whilst i tend to my rice now today i'll be using my layla extra long perfectly aged yes you heard all that right basmati rice now when it comes to jollof rice recipes i think i do have countless of recipes and yes i will group them into playlist and you can watch and tell me which one is your favorite on this occasion i am going to wash my rice twice because it has less starch content now i think that my stew is looking good and it's ready for me to add my rice but i think i'd reserve a little bit of the stew as well because i've got a little surprise coming up in part three now what i tend to find is people that prefer jasmine rice do not like basmati rice they find basmati rice um, flavorless interestingly enough however depending on the flavor of jollof rice that you're making if it has strong flavors like this whereby it's quite smoky then yes basmati rice works perfectly now when you're going for subtle flavors but more of an aromatic part whereby the jasmine rice the flavor of the jasmine rice still is retained then yes it's best for you to use your jasmine rice as i mentioned just check all the jollof rice recipes i've created and yes we're moving it forward we're keeping it forward and i'm sure i've just learned and improved myself as time has gone on now i'm dry frying this for about you know five to eight minutes just to ensure every grain of rice is infused with my full flavor now to enhance that flavorness i'm adding some german salami you can add your smoked sausages if you wish you can omit this altogether but i think this just gave it that extra oomph exactly and it also added that sort of like a little meaty flavor to the dish so this is one thing that you know most of you guys will go like mm, what is this then you know that's your little secret ingredient so here i've got my stock yes you can use chicken stock if you do have that yes and um, you will notice that i am quite measured with the amount of stock that i'm adding you know you can use water if you don't have stock that's fine you would notice when i mix everything together it's nice and moist and it's not overdone reason is i'm going to be allowing this to first of all start to simmer and then i'll be covering it to trap all the steam in now this is one jollof i'm not even gonna bother opening it again to turn it around and if i do it's only because i'm going to be adding something else so that's going to cook for about 25 to 30 minutes on that medium to low heat so as i mentioned i'm using my foil today and it doesn't even touch the rice so you could see it's up there and i've used the lid and i've covered it so after 20 minutes i'm now going to be adding my secret ingredients which is just going to make this jollof soche i'm using goat's butter now i did a recipe like this and i did show it on my instagram and everybody was excited about it and yes i uh, requested for the recipe so here we have the soche jollof rice this is the one to impress your friends your family or whoever you want to impress in your life you know what i mean and look at that look at that it's nice and fluffy 
And you notice, as I said, I used less water. So it's just the steam that's just going to work its magic. And of course, I'm adding the sinful goat's butter. So just imagine you've got that smoky turkey flavor. And then you've got the German salami. I know, right? And now you've got goat's butter. In Dubai, Fafa, what are you doing? Please leave our dishes alone. Keep it sacred. Yes, I have done the sacred one, but you know what? Life is about color and different things, so why not? And just after five minutes, look, it's nice and melted. And I've just added a bit of the bay leaf again because it's just nice and colorful. Because, of course, when I'm serving it, I'll be serving it in the pot. It would just look attractive. Anyway, and of course, it adds its own little flavors. And it might strike a conversation with your guest because they might be wondering why you have an evergreen bay leaf in your jollof and one that looks like it's overdone. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, look at jollof rice. It is smoky. It is steaming hot. No wahala with this one. Straight to the point, monsieur. Now, to my loyal subscribers and to my new subscribers, you're welcome. Thank you all for the support. We've gone over the 100,000 mark. Appreciate each and every one of you. And back to the recipe as well. Um, I've got the smoked turkey and a little bit of the sauce left. And I'm just adding a little bit of my basil leaves. Now, the third and concluding part of this jollof rice party is going to blow your mind because it comes with some extra flavors that you go like say what exactly you know that in dubai i've got your back naturally i'll leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dubaifafa.blogspot.com so do check it out i'm on facebook instagram twitter and snapchat as in dubaifafa so pass by and say hi Nural, thank you very much for my theme song and ladies and gentlemen, we hit the 100,000 mark. I love you guys. I couldn't have done this without you. Without you, there is no end to do. And I really sincerely appreciate your love. Ah, Akbalo, Min Danyashi, Medase. Danke. Merci. Be blessed. I'll see you in my next video.